Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. So lovely to have you here, my friends. And in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm growing my audience for my million dollar year offer. Now, For those of you who don't know, I am already a business coach and I'm a digital strategist. Um, So I have been selling online uh, for a few years now, but with my million dollar year, I am planning to create something quite new for me, uh, a much higher ticket offer and launching it to a different segment of my existing audience. So I say different segment, I mean a new segment a new audience and I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm building my audience and there are different ways of course when you're selling anything online that you can grow an audience and I want to share with you the way in which I'm doing it the way that works for my lifestyle um, and yeah I think it'd be interesting because there are lots of coaches who have different strategies about how you should grow online whether you're using reels or whether it's using lead magnets or or whatever, right? There are a million different strategies out there that you can, as an online business owner, be using to grow your audience. And I have pretty much tried them all. (laughs) And so I want to share with you what I'm doing really strategically for my million dollar year in growing my audience in a way that feels aligned to me. And I think if we take anything away from this episode, it is about doing things that feel aligned to you, that not necessarily the way that another coach does it or the way that your your business bestie does it. Like what feels the best way, the easiest way, the most comfortable way for you to grow your audience. So one of the things that I've always loved doing with all of my digital offers is using attraction marketing, which very simply is putting content out there that speaks directly to a type of person um, and attracts them towards me. I am not a big fan of sales calls. I mean, I've completely removed sales calls from my business model, don't enjoy doing them. And it's not about um, being scared of sales calls or not feeling good enough to do sales calls. I just don't like doing them. (laughs) They they take a lot of my energy. um, And I I feel like my sales pages are often good enough to help people make a decision about whether they're going to buy this thing or not. Um, And so sales calls, and also I've mostly been selling quite low ticket offers um, for the past few years, which haven't really needed a sales call strategy attached to it. Of course, if you're selling a much higher ticket offer and um, it does require a call, then do you, boo, do you. Um, But for me, I'm not a massive fan of sales calls. I'm not a fan of sending out lots of DMs to people, cold DMing people. It's not how I want to spend my time or how I like to do business. Um, I do sell a lot in the DMs. And they're often after people have come to me with questions and then we get into very human, comfortable, easy flowing conversations. But I certainly am not out cold DMing. But again, I know there are people out there who are selling that as a strategy to people to send cold DMs because they work or send cold emails because they work. Not knocking any of those strategies. I'm just saying they're not something that I am currently doing in my business. So I like to use attraction marketing where people come to me versus me have to go to them. Uh, you know, I like the lazy method of marketing. I like to put out content that actually makes people move and decide that they want to know more. So they they make a decision about whether they visit the sales page or whether they DM me. And so there's something here that we need to really think about is when we're writing our content is making sure we are crystal clear on who we are speaking to every time we put a piece of content out there to attract people into our world, whether they buy, whether they add you as a friend or a follower, um, our content really needs to be honed in on the message, the right message to the right buyer that you're hoping to hook into your world. So the first part of growing my audience is, of course, creating content 
that resonates with the right type of people that makes them move that makes them go oh yeah this is something I want this is something I've been thinking about you know let me go and check out her sales page let me give her a follow now the thing with attraction marketing is that that alone as an audience building strategy I don't believe for me is enough um and it hasn't been in the past. So about a year ago, I implemented a new strategy and I was very, very strategic about growing my audience. And I'm going to be continuing to do that with my million dollar year. And I made the decision of targeting my ideal client. So again, I sat down, I did the work, I worked out who my ideal client is, where they are in their stage of business, what they really want in their life, in their business right now? Um, What is that big outcome that they want? And I really honed in on who this person was and what type of job role that they were doing so that I could search for them and then bring them into my world. So the second part of my audience building strategy is very intentionally, every single day, spending between 10 to 15 minutes adding new people who fit my ideal buyer profile, if you like. So how that plays out is I I did a reel about this. So if you're listening to this, I did a reel about two days ago, or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. Days blur into one at the moment for me. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, and I explained in this reel how I'm doing this. Um, and essentially, I'm really a Facebook girl or a LinkedIn girl, and I'm trying to grow on TikTok right now, and I'm really enjoying that journey of growing over on that platform. Uh, and that's a different strategy for growing over on, on TikTok. But certainly, when I'm talking about my Facebook, which has about 7,000 across my profile and my page and my LinkedIn, which has about two or 3,000 people on there, very strategically, I am searching for the job roles that my ideal client for my future million dollar offer has. And when I find them, I'm simply adding them. I'm sending them a friend request and inviting them to connect with me. Because once they connect with me, they then can see my content, my attraction marketing content that will be already speaking directly to them. Now, the reason, and some of you are going to be like, this doesn't work. The reason this actually works is because I make sure on those profiles that my profiles are optimized. So when I send essentially a cold friend request, LinkedIn's pretty cool. And actually, Facebook is, is pretty cool at this. You can see how many friends you have in common. Uh, in, you can see how many friends you have in common. And so I, I generally am not going to add somebody who we have no friend connections in common it's normally somebody who might have they might know 50 people that I know or 100 people that I know or in some cases 200 people I know if it's like 200 I'm like we should definitely be friends because we are in similar circles so I'm searching by their job title which might be a business coach or it might be a therapist or it might be um, a nutritionist or it might be a life coach right whatever that job title is And then I find the people that I'm not yet connected with and I friend request them. They then look at my profile, which is optimized. And the big banner on top of my Facebook and my LinkedIn will say who I am, what I do and who I help. And this allows them to very quickly make a decision about, oh, she sounds like an interesting person. I'm going to connect with her. Or they might think "Ah, I'm not interested um, and, and walk away, which is also fine because They've self-weeded them out, which is saving me a job to do. Um, So like sometimes I get friend requests and I look at the profile and if it's saying anything to do with like VA services or we're a VA agency, for me, I decline that friend request because I have a VA. I'm not looking for a VA, so I'm not going to connect to that person. Right. And that's what happens with my profile is that I'm targeting specific people who will be a good fit for my million dollar offer and then I'm sending them a friend request most people I would say seven or eight out of ten requests say yes and we are connected and we're in each other's world 
and they instantly get to see the content that's on my page. They get to see what I'm talking about and how I can help them and slowly start to self-induct themselves into my world. And I'm roughly adding between 10 to 15 people a day using this method. Um, and it roughly takes me 10 minutes a day um, to add in sort of 10 to 15 people. And what happens with the algorithm is that once you start doing this, and I noticed this massively when I started doing this, it was January, or was it February last year, when I started doing this, that as soon as I started adding people, the algorithm starts serving me up more similar people or more of the friends of the people that I've just connected with. And so it kind of serves me up like, hey, do you know this person or you should connect with this person? And so when you start adding those people, you then are being shown to their friends and the algorithm loves it when you're all connected. The algorithm loves that shizzle and it starts pushing you to more people. And so then now, instead of me always making that first move and requesting new people, I start to get more requests for people to connect with me because I'm actively adding new people in and the algorithm loves that. So that's how I'm currently growing my audience for the million dollar year, being super, super clear on who it is. I want to come into my world and buy this offer that I'm creating by friend requesting them, making sure my profile is optimized, and then making sure that the content, the attraction marketing content that I am putting out there is speaking to those people so that They've, they've become a friend and now they're seeing content that is of value to them, is serving them up the things that they want or the ideas that they've already been thinking about. And that is how I'm growing my audience. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I would love to hear how you are currently growing your audience. Feel free to share with me in the comments. Feel free to share with me over inside the community hub for the million dollar year. Uh, you can join if you've not joined yet. Go to the online business temple.com forward slash hub H U B and uh, let's have a conversation. All right, my darlings, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I can't wait to speak to you next week. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Bye.